morning guys, Justin here from Aqua Electric and we're right here in Seattle, Washington testing the Pure Watercraft High Field 420. We've got Bruno from the Green Boater. Bruno, what do you think about this? Well, you know, I'm excited. I've seen uh, pictures, I've seen uh, these online, they've got uh, all kinds of stuff on their website, but it's really exciting to actually be here uh, in the Pacific Northwest on a beautiful day and we get a chance to actually hear uh, what this uh, boat can do and also uh, touch and feel its performance. It's going to be fantastic. All right, let's jump in this boat. Let's get started. Okay, so we're, we're at the helm here of the Highfield 420 and uh, it's really simple. You have down here, there is a red 12 volt battery switch. Uh, so that's in the on position. And then for just actually start the boat, you have your uh, pure watercraft control here. You press this. Comes on. And then to start the motor, you press this button here, this soft key that says start motor. So now we are, uh, it shows, tells me that I'm in neutral now um, and we're good to go. So we're going to take off here and off we go. So. What I notice instantly is they have that really large prop on here uh, and pretty much as soon as I throw it in gear, you've got this, this big push. Because it's electric and it has all that torque, they've got that massive three-bladed prop. It's really, this is sort of an equivalent to a 30 horsepower motor. Uh, the prop they have on there is, is really more like the size of what a gas 100, power, 100 horsepower motor would be. And they can do it just because they have this instant torque and it doesn't stall the motor or anything and uh it's it's giving us a range at this speed so right now it's looking at 73 miles let's see if i increase kilowatt usage drops down about 23 miles at uh four and a half uh, four and a half knots five knots using 2.4 kilowatts jumping up to 27 miles so it looks like a predictive uh predictive software it's telling us how far we're going to go. We're going to bring it up to speed here. So one of the things I noticed right now we're doing about let's say 20 knots, maybe a little bit better than 20 knots, is that this is probably the quietest electric boat I've been on. You know, no electric boat's completely quiet because because the motor is actually under the water, we don't hear very much at all. It's just sort of slight whine of the gear, but it's mostly wind rush and that's it. Bruno gave it a spin as well. And to find out what he thinks about it, check out his YouTube channel, The Green Boater. Link in the description below. One of the features that I think is really cool is this trim button here on the side gives you a really good graphical representation of your trim, uh, which actually I wish every boat had this. It's, uh, normally the way you do it is you turn around and look at it, look at it with your eyes to see what your trim angle is, which is still probably a good idea, but here um, you have this great trim graph that tells you exactly where you are. So we're here with Arna of Pure Watercraft, and uh, yeah, can you talk, uh, talk us through the battery and uh, some of the technology you have going on here? Yeah, absolutely. I'd be happy to. So um, all of our products are outboard, that is, uses a, an 8.8 .8 kilowatt hour. It's a high voltage battery pack of our own design. Um, we build them here in Seattle currently, uh, soon to be in other locations, but currently just here in Seattle. It's a 350 volt pack, so it is high voltage. Um, on ribs like this, this is our 4.2 meter rib. It's one of the three different rigid inflatable boats that we sell um, through a partnership we have with Highfield. Uh, this is the larger of the three, the other two being a 3.6 and a 3.8 meter one. All of those can contain two battery packs. Um, our motor can run off either a single or a dual pack currently. So on this rib, we keep one here under the captain's seat. I'll give you a, a look at that. All the batteries are removable as well. Um, you can see the size of it there. They're roughly about the size of a six gallon gas tank. So, you know, whether it's a, a boat you're repowering or it's a rib, any space uh, that can fit basically, you know, a gas tank of that size, we can usually put our system onto there, install it, and it gets you on the water going electric. Um, there's handholds under here on both sides. 
The packs are quite heavy at right around 120 pounds, but if you need to remove them, they can easily be removed. Uh, you can see here are the, uh, the plugs. So there's two cables here. Um, these are both high voltage cables. So one is running to the outboard and the other one is running to the second battery pack that we have on this boat. All our batteries are modular, so they can be daisy chained together to allow you to have more range than you would have with just a single one. So uh, to remove the pack, basically, you're just gonna depress uh, this spring here. You remove the pack, or the, the, the cable, sorry, just like so. Do the same on the bottom one. And then the pack is basically free, ready to be moved out. I love how modular and removable these packs are, and I wanted to get a sense of removing it myself. Just here, that is, you can put your hand under there, and I'll put my hand inside, and you just, just have to maneuver it out, kind of, just like that. Then we can set it on the seat maybe, or on the floor, wherever you'd like. Probably get a better look at it on the seat. Thanks. So that's it. That's actually really cool. It's very modular. That's the battery. In this version, they actually have a second battery pack under the forward seat. And then you have another whole battery pack. Yep. Before we finished up, I wanted to ask Arno one more thing about their company culture. I'm not the tallest guy in the world, but I'm not super short either. Uh, it, you're, you're quite a tall guy and you're not the only one in the company. What, what's, what's the culture of, uh, of a pure water craft. Yeah, it's uh, it's funny enough. It's a question we get often with the height because people walk into the office and they'll run into me or or Ed or Andy, our CEO. He's also tall. Mm. Um, a lot of us are rowers. That's kind of where that stems from. You get that uh, long reach, that long pull. Is yeah, that, is yeah. That well, the seat is on. If you watch Boys in the Boat, the movie mm -hmm. that just came out too, like we'll see. But the seat on a, on a rowing shell is on wheels, so it's all about compression. It's it's leverage. So gotcha. The longer the body, the longer the lever, uh, the more effectively you can move a boat. But uh, I guess to answer your question, you know, it's um, the company is, is it's basically made of boaters. So mm -hmm. a lot of us are rowers or sailors um, or, you know, recreational boaters, but people who just love being on the water, uh, love nature, love being out there uh, and kind of enjoying the things that make boating so unique and special. So whether we got it through, you know, pulling on a stick to move your boat or, you know, or casting a rod, there's a, a bunch of people here who just love being on the water. And our mission is really to make that experience as great as it possible. Mm -hmm. Thanks for checking out the Pure Watercraft High Field 420. And stick around, we've got a lot of exciting videos coming up. See you next time.